always at education events. Um, best and brightest is probably the dumbest, uh, most counterproductive. <laughs> uh, It, it, it's, it, it's an extraordinarily wrong-headed approach to retention and, and recruit, recruitment. Um, had we just had the, this money as recurring salary money um, for each of the last three years, who knows where we'd be. Um, the first two years, as you heard, it was based on your SAT scores from 25 years ago. Um, did, 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 not, did nothing to help the, the, the uh, teacher recruitment and retention problems it was trying to, you know, says it was trying trying to solve. Um, it was discriminatory, and so there ended up being a big lawsuit out of it. Um, so there was additional money created that was funneled down through that law lawsuit. Um, I mean, it, it's just hard to imagine a bigger disaster of a way to try to retain and recruit te teachers. Um, Hopefully this is the last year we'll have anything like this and we'll just have recognition that all of our people deserve a recurring li living wage increase. Um, I too was... Um, you know, I, yeah, we're, I mean, we're gonna hear a lot more about this tonight, but, 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 but wrong-headed, um, indifferent, uh, thoughtless, Ideas like this from people in power is why you had what you had in here two week, two week, two week, two weeks ago. Um, you know, I, I think, yeah, I, I like, 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 like Ms. Miller said, the, 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 there was a little bit of choice given in this last version of it, and I think we all thought it was important, uh, particularly to get some money to our to our pairs who make virtually no money and do incredibly difficult things every, every day. <laughs> and frankly, to also recognize that the dividing line between highly effective and effective is like everything else that relies on Florida's data, a, a, a highly permeable one. Um, and, you know, I think, I don't know if you caught the part that Brian said at the, the, the beginning, but this is how these bonus plans get designed. An individual te teacher who makes extraordinary test score, you know, I'm not a big test score guy, but say, say an individual te teacher makes an extraordinary test score gain in, in, in a school uh, with her kids or his kids in, her, in his class or her class, that's not gonna matter to, 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 to this bonus if the whole rest of the school for the last three years didn't make some kind of gain. I mean, the galactic counterproductive stupidity of that is, is like, it, it, it's, it, it doesn't recognize how work is done. Um, and I, for one, am just good riddance and, and will look forward to something better. So anyway, that, I, I wanted to explain that in a little more, <laughs> in a little less uh, uh, executive language. Sorry, 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 Brian. Thank you, Mr. Townsend. Ms. Fortney?